again, sixth grade. I'm back for my final video of the day. Today, for science, we're going to be doing some more practice on IXL. Today's practice will be for G3, which is to calculate time from speed and distance. I am just going to type in a random answer so that it gives us the formula. So for us to find time, the formula for time is distance divided by speed. So when looking for the time, again, time is distance divided by speed. So we can now ooh, figure out time. So time is distance divided by speed. So this problem says Jamal wants to ride his bike 930 meters to a grocery store. If he rides a steady speed of 310 minutes or meters per minute, how long will it take him to ride to the store? So we know our distance is 930 and our speed is 310 meters per minute. So we need to divide 310 by 930. So it looks like I'm going to do this the challenging way because these are big numbers. Zero, three, nine. So 310 goes into 930 three times. I just added 310 together three times because it looked like it would work. So it should take him three minutes. Awesome. Let's do another one. Again, time is distance divided by speed. So a seagull was 90 meters west of a pier. If it flew east at a steady speed of 15 meters per second, how long did it take the seagull to reach the pier? So our distance is 90 meters, took 15 seconds. Our distance was 90, our speed was 15 meters a second. We have to see how many times 90 goes into 15. I know that 15 plus 15 is 30, and I know 30 times 3 is 90. So if we go 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, it should take him 6 seconds. 15 divided by 90 is 6. Someday I'll remember what I was trying to find. And we'll do one more of these problems before we move on to the next. So we know our time is distance divided by speed. A submarine is moving underwater at 33 kilometers per hour. If its speed stays steady, how long will the submarine take to move 66 kilometers? So we know that our distance is 66 and our speed is 33. 33 divided by 66. 33 goes into 66 two times. So it would take two hours. Moved us on to stage two already. So now it says we may not have a whole number. It says write your answer to the tenths place so we know it's not going to evenly divide. Again, time is distance divided by speed. A tornado siren is blaring from the center of town. The siren's sound wave is traveling at 350 meters per second. At this speed, how long will it take the sound wave to travel 910 meters? Write your answer to the tenths place. So we know time is distance divided by speed. 
our distance is 910, our speed is 350. For the sake of time and space on my computer screen, I'm just gonna use calculator. I don't know what exactly your rules for sixth grade are. Um, maybe you can figure it out yourself. Maybe you can use calculator. Someday we'll, uh, we'll know, not today. So three, 910 divided by 350 should be 2.6. So it should take him 2.6 seconds. Boom. We'll do one more in stage two. I wanna remind you again to find time you do distance divided by speed. D is for distance, S is for speed, and T is for time. So a bowling ball is rolling down a bowling lane. The ball is 18 meters away from the pins at the end of the lane. If the ball rolls at a steady speed of seven and a half meters per second, how much time will it take to reach the pins? So our distance is 18, our speed is 7.5 meters per second, we have to divide 18 by seven and a half. 18 divided by seven and a half is 2.4. And I'll do one more in stage three. This one is the hardest stage. It just gives you information that you don't necessarily need. Time is always distance divided by speed. A barracuda started swimming toward a coral reef at a steady speed of five meters per second, exactly 15 seconds after the sun rose. At this speed, how long did it take the barracuda to travel 23 meters to the reef? So we just need the distance and the speed. It told us that it took, or it was going a steady speed of five meters per second. So that is our speed. This is just nonsense trying to distract us. And then it wants to know how long it would take to go 23 meters. So that is our distance. So now we have to divide 23 by five. This is a smaller number, so I'll work it out for you. So a little bit over here, 23 divided by five. Five goes into 23 or two zero times. Bring down the two and the three. Five, 10, 15, 20. Five times four is 20. Three, zero. It's gonna be a decimal point. Bring down an imaginary zero. Five goes into 30. Six times, five times six is 30. So our answer is 4.6. All right, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, if you haven't noticed, all of these formulas are based off of the same thing. Uh, time is distance divided by speed. Speed is distance times time, I think, or distance, speed is distance times, uh, I'm confusing myself, but it's all based off of the same formula, which it, will, it shows you when you mess up the, oops, I pushed my calendar, which it shows you if you get a question wrong. Oh, it didn't even take it, come on now. So it shows you speed is distance divided by time. If you balance out the equation, that's how you get the time equation. So if we wanted to find distance, we would multiply both sides times time. So distance is time times speed. Speed is distance divided by time. And time is distance divided by speed. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know if you need any help. Bye.